So how we doing everybody? Your old pal Baba Ganoush here. So as you can see, I'm out on a backpacking trip going out for another nice little shakedown hike before my official leave date for my uh, Appalachian Trail through hike. The day is getting closer. I'm getting more and more excited by the day. It's right around the corner. But as of right now, I'm going backpacking for a few days. So I'm down here in Virginia, just north of Shenandoah. Starting at Manassas Gap, heading south, probably down to uh, Gravel Springs Hut uh, over the next couple days, and then backtracking on Tuesday back to my car. Woo! So I got two nights, three days. Gonna get lots of lots of good miles in. Is some pretty cool terrain. I'm also testing out some new pieces of equipment and things as well in preparation for my through hike. But we'll go ahead and talk about that later. For right now. Settle on in, tune on in. We got a great trip ahead of us. Talk to you guys real soon. Bye, we're gonna do out. Well, all right, all right. How we doing, everybody? Welcome along once again. So, like I said, I am down here in Virginia, going on a backpacking trip, three days, two nights. So today's Sunday, Sunday morning. It is just past 11 o'clock. I'm already probably about four or five miles in or something like that. I passed the uh, Tom Floyd shelter just a little bit ago. In fact, ran into a gentleman who I've met out on the trail previously. His name is Paul with Bunions. If anyone who's hiked in the Virginia, West Virginia, Maryland, Pennsylvania area as well, um, and hiked that quite often, you've probably met him once or twice. He wears a Jägermeister hat all the time. Uh, just a really good dude. Um, you know, always looking after the hikers, uh, always looking after the trail. Uh, helping maintain some of the shelters and things as well. Just just a really good all-around person. So, Paul with Bunions, great to meet you again. Hope you, hopefully you watch this video uh, since you know who I am. And uh, hopefully I look forward and uh, hopefully I get to see you further on down the trail when I uh, come up to my through hike here. So, a little bit of a rainy day today. <laughs> as you can see, there's just fog all around me. But it was pouring rain all day yesterday and all last night up until this morning. So I'm kind of lucking out right now the fact that it's just misting a little bit. The nice thing is, as you can see, I'm wearing a t-shirt. It's actually pretty warm. It's like, it's like mid to low 50s right now. The thing is, it's kind of humid, which is why I'm not wearing my rain jacket. Um, I'm just heating up too much. I'd rather stay cool. I'd rather stay dry. So I'm hoping to do about 12 miles today getting up to the Tom Floyd shelter, which is a great shelter. Uh, has like a deck out front and everything. Really, really cool. Stayed there once before. And then tomorrow, probably gonna continue on up to uh, Gravel Springs. So I'm looking forward to getting a good three days in, a good, good amount of miles in as well. Get the legs stretched out, get myself nice and strong for my through hike. Woo! Gonna be a great couple days, cold, wet. But great. Talk to you guys further on down the trail. Ooh, it's gonna be a great time. Baba Ganoush out. Boom. Okay guys, like I said, I'm testing, so I'm out here, not only doing another shakedown, but I'm out here to test uh, a certain couple pieces of equipment specifically. So the first and foremost, and probably one of the most important pieces of gear is going to be the Garmin InReach Explorer. So I'm testing this thing out right here. Uh, number one, uh, obviously just to make sure it's working properly, to see what it's all about as well. Um, I'm having my friends and family back at home you know, uh, take a look at the uh, the link and take a look at the map um, and, and also message me through it as well um, just to really get an idea of how it's going to perform for me, how it's going to work, uh, get used to some of the functions, so on and so forth. And then certainly as well, um, I'm also testing the battery life specifically just to see how often I really have to charge this thing. I do have the screen locked right now. I'm really not using the GPS or, or any really extra features. I just have the tracking mode on right now. It's pinging my location every single hour. 
Uh, so it's spreading it out pretty good um, to where if you do it at a higher frequency, it's going to take up more battery. And I figured, number one, I can still cover a good amount of miles in between each every single little time it pings my location. Um, but it's also still at a decent frequency uh, so that you can really see um, and keep better track at like the pace that I'm moving at and things. So new piece of equipment that I'm trying out. Super excited. Again, I have everything kind of locked out right now, but it is tracking me. Um, and I'm hoping to see how this thing really performs. So, so far it's been super simple to understand, super simple to get used to, see how we do. So all I'm doing, I don't have like the carabiner on this. I'm utilizing the Osprey Exos, the, uh, the shoulder pockets right here and just keeping it holstered right inside there. You know, it's nice and secure. Okay, let me get you a better look at it. So that way sitting there, it's nice and in the pocket, it's secure. So it's not gonna go anywhere. And yet still the antenna has a clear view to the sky. Uh, so that way it's gonna help it with the accuracy kind of thing. So I was a little bit reluctant to just hang it off the back. I might see some other way to maybe hang it higher up on my shoulder so I can utilize that pocket for something else. But we'll, we'll play around with some things and see where we go from there. In the meantime, I got a pretty decent uphill in front of me. So let me put you away. Let me continue on. I got about six miles left to go. Ooh, it's cooling down. This is a beautiful day for a hike. Nice and cool. Gotta love it. Whew. Talk to you guys real soon. Pleasure as always. Baba Ganesh out. Boom. guys here we are tom floyd shelter Woo, 12 point something miles down here it is five or uh yeah, about seven minutes before three so i got started uh, about 9 15 this morning so pretty nice timing pretty nice timing um lots of uphill boy are my legs tired <laughs> Woo, lots of uphill but that's okay it means i'll be going downhill a lot on the way back so i've stayed in the shelter before it's really nice uh, metal roof and everything. This deck is awesome out front as well. Really shelters you in from the wind and the rain. Yeah, spring is down the hill a little bit, so I'll settle in and then hop down and uh, go fill up on water real quick while my uh, legs are still nice and warm. This is where I'm going to call home tonight. Beautiful, beautiful shelter. Three o'clock, I'll set my stuff up. Certainly if anybody else comes on in, there's plenty of room in here. Some tent sites down below, pretty neat spot. So let me go ahead, put you guys down, put my pack down, go ahead and get our uh, stuff together. Talk to you guys real soon. Have a good shout. We'll go ahead, check in with the family, send them a quick message, let them know I'm uh, at camp kind of thing. camp for tonight i'm gonna to post it to facebook see how we go from there pretty cool i've been pretty impressed with the battery life thus far um i've just had this thing kind of sitting in my pocket screen turned off and everything all day long i'm at 96 percent battery and that's been running all day long at one hour intervals really really awesome um <laughs> so pretty nice with that battery life super impressed i can go for days on end letting this thing roll and it's still going to keep on ticking. So really cool. I'll set this thing down, let it send the message. I'll go ahead, sit down, put my warm clothes on a little bit, maybe have a snack. All right. So how are we doing everybody? So I made my dinner. Oh my goodness. It is so good. Let me grab it here for you guys. Hold on one second. 
So it is by Alpine Air here. It is the spicy sausage pasta. Really good. It says pasta with sausage. Hold on. Let me get a better look here. It's pretty tough in the dark right now. I'm not going to lie. Uh, spicy sausage pasta with crumbles and a creamy and a creamy cheese sauce finished with a dash of cayenne pepper. So it does have a pretty good, nice zing to it. But the pasta and everything, mm -mm -mm, delish. Really good. One of the better backpacker meals that I've had. So this is why I'm going to make this part really, really quick and go ahead and finish that guy up there. So this is the other piece of equipment that I am testing out tonight besides my new Garmin. Um, I am testing out the Sea to Summit Ultralight Insulated Pad. This is the large model. Uh, for those of you who are new to my channel, uh, my previous pad, the Nemo Tensor, sprung a leak. So I had to make a, a split decision and get a new pad. A lighter weight new pad is on the way. I'm super excited to feature that in my video. It is so new, I had to pre-order it. And, I'm, and it's still not coming in for a couple weeks. So I'm super excited to hopefully be one of the per first people to have it. Hopefully be one of the first people to do a video uh, review of it. And as well, one of the first people, uh, if not the first person, to take it on a through hike. But this will suffice for now. I'm looking forward to testing this thing out tonight. Um, I'll let you know how it is. Uh, I'll let you know how it performs uh, tomorrow morning when I wake up. But right now, I got to go ahead and eat. Uh, I'll talk to you guys when I'm starting to get packed into bed and stuff like that. Looks like I'm going to be at the shelter here all on my own. Beautiful night. Talk to you guys real soon. Baba Ganoush out. Boom. Morning, everybody. How are we all doing? It is a very brisk morning. It's in like the low 30s right now. I went to bed last night. It was in the low 50s. So to have a 20 degree drop overnight... Pretty drastic. <laughs> but no, nah, it was nice and toasty warm all night long inside my sleeping bag. Uh, I'm still super toasty warm inside my sleeping bag right now. But it's time to get changed, get up and going. It's just going on 7.30 right now. Hopefully I can be out of here by like 9, 9.30 or so. But I'm only doing like 10 miles today. But this 10 miles has a lot of elevation changes. Um, so certainly if I can get going a little bit early, means I can just take my time a little bit. But not too worried. So in the meantime, I'm just packing myself up, getting myself changed. Uh, I always like to change just inside my sleeping bag right away. Um, you know, put my hiking clothes on and then put my warm clothes back on over the top so that I'm warm while, while I'm uh, getting my breakfast and packing my stuff up. Um, and then, yeah, then it's up and on the way. So let me put you away. Let me continue packing up, go get my breakfast, go do my stuff. Talk to you guys real soon. Bob new show. Well, all right, guys, here we are entering Shenandoah National Park. So having a little snack, having my Snickers bar. I've already done probably about a mile and a half, two miles or so, and it's been all uphill, of course. Um, so, yeah, so I got to fill out a quick backcountry permit. I got to carry that with me just in case a park ranger decides to come along and pay a visit. Uh, just to show them that, yes, I am following the rules. I am practicing my leave no trace. And, uh, you know, I'm respecting the fact that this is a big, beautiful, and spectacular national park. So, chilly day today. I got the, uh, I've been having the face mask up and over all day long. Uh, as you can see, I'm still wearing my Patagonia jacket as well, the Nano Air Hybrid. Um, I really, really love this jacket. You can take a look at it right up here if you want to. But it's all, it's insulated across your core, but then it's vented out the back so you can kind of control your body temperature a little bit better. I love it. So let me go ahead. Let me have my snack. Let me fill out my permit and everything as well. I got some really great views coming up for you guys. Finally, yesterday there were no views whatsoever. Just walking through the green tunnel, as they say. Today I have some spectacular views. Hopefully the clouds break up so we can uh, get you something good to look at. So let me put you away. Talk to you guys real soon. Pleasure as always. Baba Ganesh out.
so windy out here. It's a little bit cold today. Like I said, I got the face guard up. But I got a great view here. I'm not even gonna bother walking out to there. It's so spooky. It's so windy. It's raining just a little bit. Some things are slick. Oh wow. This is pretty crazy. But it's awesome. Oh man. Oh man. This is the kind of stuff I'm gonna have to deal with on my through hike. Better get used to it, Bob. Oh, Bob. Oh. oh man. So I'm probably about halfway into my hike today. Uh, probably even then some. Oh man, it's so windy, it's so cold. I gotta get off that ledge a little bit. Oh, oh great view, but holy smokes, it's cold. Woo. So I got probably about halfway left to go. I don't even know what time it is. I've just been so bundled up, I haven't even checked the time. Who cares, I'll get there when I get there. So I'm going to Gravel Springs Hut today. It's supposed to be only like a 10, 10 and a quarter mile hike or something. So something nice and simple, take my time get there when I get there. Oh man, so finally good view came up. It's been a day and a half and I finally get a great view. Oh man, so I thought I'd share it with you guys. I got a couple good ones coming up ahead, so definitely stay tuned. I'll take it with you guys at the next view. Oh, wish me luck! Ah! Well, all right, all right, how we doing everybody? So it's a little after one o'clock here this afternoon. I got about three and a half miles or so left to go. Uh, so I'm move, making really good time. You know, this is a part of Shenandoah where, um, you know, you do certainly have some good elevation changes, but the elevation changes happen over a long period of time, a long journey. So <laughs> it's not like they're that difficult. So I'm able to just kind of take my time, just stride it out. I'm only doing like 10 and a quarter miles today. So I'm not really looking to crush out the miles get in there too early and then I got to try to keep myself warm for you know like five or six hours kind of thing so but it's a pretty chilly day <laughs> so got the face guard up it's just a chilly windy day they said it was only supposed to be like a high of 36 all day today and with the wind of course it's making things a little bit colder so I'm trying to keep myself and my face I can't ruin my face got to keep my face nice and warm so I do what I can. So I'm trying this out. Instead of bringing my smart wolf balaclava like I have done in the past, I'm trying to see if maybe I'll just bring a second buff instead. You know, I know I can get a little bit more use out of it, use it in a variety of different ways. So I'm seeing how it works thus far. I've been pretty impressed. I like it a lot. We'll see how things go. My Garmin over here has been running all day long. Uh, after running it all day yesterday, running it thus far all day today, I just picked it back up before. It's down to like, I think it still has like 86 or 88% battery left, or something like that. Somewhere in the uh, high, mid to high 80s, somewhere around there. So after two straight days of just letting it run, um, you know, I have uh, done some test messages back and forth between my family just to see how the thing works kind of deal, get the hang of it. So that, of course, eats up a little bit more battery life. So the fact that I'm still in like the mid to high 80s percentage wise, really, really good, which means I could probably go if I just leave it in tracking mode and then just use primarily use my cell phone to message and then only use this guy when I really need it. You know, I can have this thing probably go about two whole weeks. You know, I can easily have this thing go a full week before having to recharge it. And then I can probably even go more than a week if I really, really had to. So really, really impressed thus far. So, all right guys, I got about three and a half miles left to go until I get up to Gravel Springs Hut. I like that shelter. I've said there a few different times already. Really good one, good water source as well. I'll talk to you guys further on down the trail as I get a little bit closer. Bob Ganoush out, boom. here we go gravel springs hut here here's home for tonight 
So I'm probably going to set up once again inside the shelter. I got a long day tomorrow. It'll just be good just to get up and going. Um, now, I know it's going to be a really cold night, but bears are pretty uh, common in this area. So especially staying in the shelter will give me just a little extra protection. Um, I know it's open in the front, but the thing is, I don't, I'm not surrounded by this little tiny tent. At least I can get up and kind of fend for myself a little bit. Um, I doubt that's going to have to happen because it is going to be cold. But in the event, I'd rather stay in the shelter. I doubt anybody is going to be here tonight. It's going to be a cold, cold night. They do have a pretty nice fire pit out front here. You know, maybe I'll see. I got a couple hours and I got to try to stay warm. So maybe I'll see if I can scrounge up some, uh, just a little tiny bit of firewood, just maybe for like an hour or two. You know, boil, boil some water, make a cup of coffee or something like that. We'll see what happens. Plus as well, scrounging for firewood will help keep me a little bit warm. Because <laughs> uh, it's going to be a cold one tonight. It's supposed to be down to the mid-20s, not including the wind chill. So I'll do what I can to keep myself warm. So, so yeah, home for tonight. They got a preview off to the side. They have a bear box, bear pole right next to it, just in case there's a little bit of overflow. So we'll bear box it up, make it nice and easy for ourselves. We'll have a really good time tonight. So let me put you down. Let me uh, empty my stuff up, go collect water, so on and so forth. Put some warm clothes on. Talk to you guys real soon. Bob Ganoush out. Boom. How's it going, everybody? Your old pal, Baba Ganoush here. I'm here with dinner tonight by Alpine Air, the Black Bart Chili. Really, really good. Uh, let's see. Black beans, kidney beans, and beef with the spirited classic chili taste reminiscent of the Wild West. Mm-mm-mm. Delish. 580 calories, 50 grams of protein. Oh, boy. I cannot wait. Only 7 grams of sugar as well, so really, really nice. Holy smokes. I'm going to enjoy this. And I'm going to enjoy it while it's still hot. Ooh, got a nice, nice fire going here tonight. That's keeping this whole area pretty nice and warm, I'd have to say. It's in the mid-20s right now. Certainly, I can layer up a little bit more if I had to and keep myself a little bit warmer, but this fire's doing just fine. So, I'm going to put you away. I'm going to go ahead and eat. Whew, thank you guys for joining in on another BEA beautiful day, a cold day, but a beautiful day of hiking. I have a super long day to go tomorrow, 20-something miles. I'll check it later on. I'll let you know tomorrow morning exactly how many miles I'm doing. It's going to be a good day. I, I feel good. My back feels good. My legs feel good, feel strong. I feel like I know my equipment upside down, inside and out. My pack feels just nice and light. I'm ready to go. I'm rearing to go. But for right now, I'm going to enjoy this beautiful fire. I'm going to enjoy this warm, tasty meal. I'm going to enjoy some other treats like some bacon jerky and maybe some gummy bears to wash it all down. Mm -mm -mm. You guys have a great night. Thanks again. Talk to you guys tomorrow morning. Papa Ganoush out. Boom. Oh, hello. Hello, everybody. Good morning to you all. It is a bright and early Tuesday morning. It's just past 7 a.m. Oh, boy, it's cold. So my water, my water bag is just slightly frozen, not too bad. I can still filter without a problem, um, but it's cold. <laughs> cold, cold night. Woke up this morning, still super nice and toasty warm without a problem. It's just always the biggest shock of all of a sudden being so nice and toasty warm in your sleeping bag to all of a sudden having to get up and be out in the cold and things. So it's the nature of the game, nature of the beast. It is what it is. 
So I'm getting packed up. I'm about to uh, have my breakfast here. I'm wearing my warm clothes for the time being. And then as I pack up, I'm getting ready to go. I'm just going to shove these in, get out on my way. I have like 22 and a half miles to go today. So a pretty good amount of miles, which is why I'm getting started as early as I can. If I can get out of here, 8 o'clock, 8.30, the absolute latest, I'll be in good shape. So let me put you away. Let me get up and hum, have my breakfast. Talk to you guys further on down the trail. Going to be a heck of a day. Bob Ganoush out. Boom. Well, all right, all right. How we doing, everybody? Now, this is a way to start the day. Ooh-wee, what a view. What a view. Beautiful day thus far. Chilly day, but beautiful day. Oh, man. This is good stuff right here. This is definitely a good way to start the day. Great overlook. A little kind of spooky up here, as always, being so close to the edge, but beautiful nonetheless. So I'm going to enjoy this for about 30 seconds and then continue on the way. I got about 22 and a half miles to go today. 22 and a half miles. It's going to be a beautiful day. Oh boy, am I excited. Hoo-wee! Tom Floyd shelter. Uh, so this is like 10, 10 point something, 10 and a quarter, 10 and a half miles in for the day. It is just past one o'clock. It's about 10 past one. So make really good time. I'm just going to snack up real quick, drink a little bit of water. Uh, just move some snacks into my front pockets and things, get them ready to go. You know, take a good uh, couple minutes and stretch out and then hit that final leg. It's uh, primarily downhill, but I do have a pretty nice slope heading up about halfway through my day, um, which is always going to be a challenge, especially after a long, long day. But I'm looking forward to it. My legs feel really nice and strong. I feel great today. I've been moving at a really nice pace. You know, I left um, just around 8.30, which is what I wanted to do. <clears throat> and I am into here at 1 o'clock, which is great. Uh, yesterday, I left here at nine o'clock and i got into gravel springs at about three o'clock now certainly yesterday i was taking a little bit more time it was more uphill but still you know two hours solid difference there so let me put you away let me snack up let me drink up let me rearrange some things Woo! continue on the way oh gonna be a beautiful day oh still got a lot of miles to do oh man oh man Oh, good day, good day. I'll talk to you guys further on down the trail. I'm probably going to shout. How are we doing, everybody? So it started to rain. Womp, womp. But, uh, oh well. It's uh, about 10 to 2. I've been hiking for a little bit. Woo, started to rain, so I threw the pack cover on, threw the rain jacket on. Delayed me just a little, little bit. But I'm still expecting to get in around 6, 6.30 or so. So, you know, I got all my snacks moved forward. I got my headlamp put up top. You know, those sort of things just in case so I don't have to, hopefully I don't have to stop and really take my pack off and reshuffle once again. I can just kind of continue on the move. But all in all, I feel fantastic. My legs feel good. My back feels strong. I feel real good. My feet feel great right now too. Like I just hammered out 10, 10 point something miles and I feel like, I feel like it was nothing. So everything feels really good. Just making me more excited, more excited for my upcoming through hike. Oh man, it's so close yet so far. Uh, still so much to do and so little time. Oh man. So still got quite a few miles left to go. I left Tom Floyd a while ago. So I got probably close to 11 miles left to go here. It's gonna get going. It's gonna be getting dark. 
in just a few hours here. I can already feel the temperature dropping a little bit, but hey, we'll just keep on plugging away there. So let me put you away and let me continue on up. Talk to you guys further on down the trail. Wish me luck. Baba Ganoush out. So how are we doing everybody? Oh boy, it's gotten chilly. Woo so it's been raining on and off. I took my rain jacket off for a while. I put it back on, I took it back off. Finally, I left it off for a little bit. It started raining a little bit heavier. And as well, the temperature started to noticeably drop. So I put my rain jacket back on, figuring, hey, let me stay dry. Let me stay a little bit warmer. I still got the face shield up. It's just a bitter, bitter cold day. So I probably have, if I, I believe, probably about six, six miles left to go, six, six and a half miles left to go. It's just past four o'clock. Um, so I'm figuring probably about 6.30. Like I said, 6, 6.30 is what I plan on getting in, and I'm usually pretty good with these times. You, if you guys have been watching me, you know me pretty well. I'm usually on time or even just a little bit early. So, all right, guys, let me put you away. Let me continue on. Let me try to stay warm, stay dry, try to get in as close to uh, getting to dark as I possibly can. Talk to you guys real soon. Baba Ganesh out. Boom. so how we doing guys oh man this is a sight for sore eyes this beautiful field right here means I'm like I think I'm like a mile and a half or whatever from my truck which is great plus as well this is a really beautiful site um, just a really cool area just a wide open field good views off in the background there and of course lo and behold they have a little tiny bench sitting there if you want to come up if you want to come up and uh, you know, relax, watch the sunrise, watch the sunset, that kind of thing. So, whoo boy am I tired. Oh man, it's been a pretty cold day today. It's starting to get kind of dark, it's, uh, I think it's a little after 5.30. I haven't checked my watch in a little while. But uh, yeah, definitely getting some good miles in. I think this is 22.6 uh, miles today or something along those lines. 22 and a half, 23 miles, <clears throat> somewhere up there, but uh, yeah, <laughs> but yeah, legs feel good, a little tired of course, but legs feel good otherwise, feet feel really good, um, you know, I'm rocking the uh, Ultra Lone Peak 3.5s on this trip, and they've stayed dry even through the rain and everything as well, so really, really good, just about dialing in the last few little odds and ends for my uh, through hike. So I'm really glad I uh, was able to get out and get a few miles in over these few days here. Oof. Oh man, coming down to the last couple of weeks of work as well. You know, saying my goodbyes to everybody. <laughs> but that's also part of the excitement is the fact that, um, you know, I'm gonna be able to, uh, you know, hike a good few months, get off the trail to see some good coworkers, see some good few, uh, see some good friends, um, and really see, talk about my experiences, tell some good stories. They can see my body transformation from when I left to uh, until I get there a few months down the road. It's gonna be a good time. So let me put you away. Let me climb on back into the canopy. I'll pick, take you back out as I uh, start to get kind of close. Oh man, beautiful couple days here. Talk to you guys real soon. Baba Ganoush out. Boom. All right, so how are we doing, guys? Your old pal Baba Ganoush here. It is 6.30. I got back to my car a few minutes ago. So 6.30, like I said, just about 6.30 I would get here. Woo, I am one tired puppy. Holy smokes. 
Oh, but great, great trip overall. I'm glad I was able to stretch out the miles a little bit as well. You know, I feel really good. I feel nice and strong. Um, you know, definitely I could have done a few extra miles if I needed to. Uh, come summer days, having some good trail legs underneath me, having a little bit of longer days as well. You know, 30 plus miles, here we come. I hope you enjoyed this trip. I had some really great weather. I had some sunny weather. I had some cold weather. I had some rainy weather. I had some snowy weather and everything in between. It was a lot of fun. Don't forget to subscribe down below to keep up to date with all my future videos. Hit that like button. Hit that share button. Leave me a comment or a question down below as well. I always do appreciate it. Woo! Catch you guys in the next video. Pleasure as always. Baba Ganoush out. Boom.